the, the fact of the matter is the bill has gone through both houses of parliament. It, there's only a technicality that stands between this and it becoming a law. Uh, the only hope the Ahmadi party really has is if the courts choose to intervene. And you've heard what the BJP has said. The BJP has said it is in fact interpreting the Supreme Court order. Now, whether you agree with it or not, what are the realistic options uh, for the Ahmadi party? See, the thing is that, uh, Abadka, that I think it is very clear that this is not an interpretation of the law. This is very of the Supreme Court order. This is a very clear attempt to bypass the Supreme Court order. This matter about the powers of the Delhi government versus the central government was in the courts of law for several years. It went to the Delhi High Court, then it went to the Supreme Court, then it went to the constitutional bench of the Supreme Court. And the constitutional bench of the Supreme Court very clearly ruled that apart from land, law and order and police, all other powers lie with the Delhi government, the elected government and the elected legislature. Now, what you're clearly seeing is that this is what the constitution bench says is the appropriate interpretation of Article 239 AA of the constitution. Now, what is the BJP here attempting to do? It is attempting to bypass this constitution. And it is saying that we could not win power in Delhi by the constitutional mechanisms of defeating Arvind Kejriwal and the Aam Admi Party in the elections. So let us usurp this power. Let us now say that there can be no executive action by the Delhi government, no decision by the cabinet, no decision by the ministers, unless they have the approval of the lieutenant governor, which basically means that our undemocratically appointed nominee has power over a government that has, has a massive democratic and electoral mandate. So I think that this is a worrying sign, not just for the people of Delhi, but also for the people of the country at large. And I actually believe that there is a larger political agenda why this has been done. And because uh, the central government sees Arvind Kejriwal as a challenger, sees the fact that Aam Admi Party is now looking to expand in other states. And this is the reason why this has been done. Okay, so two different points there. You made a legal point and a political point. Let me pick up the political point that you made first. Even Sanjay Singh of your party made the same point in Parliament. The Prime Minister Modi is scared of Arvind Kejriwal. Why would you say that? Why would you? Why would the Prime Minister, uh, you know, with the BJP sort of mostly winning spree on, on on all recent elections, need to worry about Arvind Kejriwal? I will come to the I will come to the bill itself, but I'm just curious to understand why you think that this is a political insecurity about Kejriwal and not. Uh, the unique position of Delhi, which is short of complete statehood? Because I think uh, it is very clear that this seems to be the only party where, this, where the BJP does not is not able to buy off our MLAs. If you were to see in all other states across the country, in Goa, Congress won a bigger, had got a greater number of MLAs than uh, the BJP. BJP bought over MLAs of the Congress and formed the government. The same happened in Rajasthan, in Madhya Pradesh, in Manipur. Rajasthan is also the Rajasthan. The Congress government is sort of hanging by a thread. And uh, so what you see is that with other political parties and Congress being the principal opposition party, uh, the BJP is very successfully able to scuttle them by buying over their MLAs. And they, this is, Aam Aadmi Party is the only party with which they are not able to do this successfully, number one. Number two, I think the other thing that has deeply bothered the Prime Minister and the BJP is Aam Aadmi Party's successful electoral debut in Surat, in the municipal council elections in Gujarat. There you have that Aam Aadmi Party, in the first time that they contested elections, is the number two party. Congress is down to zero. Now, it is... Mm -hmm. Aam Aadmi Party, with its expansion plans across the state, where a recent survey on one news channel is showing that Aam Aadmi Party is forming the government in Punjab, is getting a decent number of seats in Uttarakhand. We had number two in the municipal elections in Surat. So Aam Aadmi Party is potentially a large threat to the BJP if it begins to spread in other states. And it is this reason why he, he does not want the prime minister, the central government, does not want this Kejriwal model to establish itself further in Delhi and to spread outside. Oh, two points there, uh, Atishi. Do you now see this as a legal battle or, or as a political battle? Delhi votes in an intriguing way. 
uh, it votes or it has voted one way when it comes to parliamentary elections and another way when it comes to the assembly elections, which seems to suggest uh, that even if you try and convert this into a political issue, the, the voter of Delhi separates the center from the state. That's the first point. To Arthi's more intriguing point, that while there was a lot of noise in the Congress rhetorically supported you, it's not as if there was a joint opposition strategy in Rajya Sabha to stand up and block this particular bill. Why do you think that actually happened and where do you intend to take this fight uh, from now? So I think definitely that there is a legal battle to be fought and uh, we are in process of consulting uh, different lawyers and seeing how it can be taken forward because I think we are very clear about the fact that this bill is unconstitutional. Uh, there is no doubt about that, number one. Number two, but I think that more importantly, it is not just a legal battle, it is a political battle. It is a political battle about how politics will be done in this country. It is a political battle about how uh, the centralizing and almost uh, tyrannical way in which that the BJP tends to rule uh, in different parts of the, uh, it, how it tends to rule as a central government. And I think it is that battle that will be fought out, not just in Delhi, but now with Ahmadmi Party gradually expanding into other parts of the country as well, uh, this is definitely a political battle about what is the kind of country that we all want to see, what is the kind of politics that we all want to see. Because after all, despite everything that the BJP has done, have they been able to deliver a governance model that works in the interest of the people? No. You see, farmers are still protesting. And inflation is still a huge problem. Unemployment is a huge problem. So after all, Politics has to center around delivery to the common man of this country. And that is really where this battle is going to be fought. 